basically we had some pretty big thumping snow on the front end of this system and this system could bring the season's first measurable snowfall to new york philadelphia and washington dc so we're concerned about the snow but we're also concerned about some icing that is likely to occur we take you to snowshoe west virginia and uh looking pretty good as far as the snow there as well they're about four thousand feet up in elevation they have a winter storm warning through 4 a.m tomorrow morning carla yeah, what we want to see, though, is the sunshine, right? So the skiers can get out there and enjoy it. Right now, it's more of a whiteout, not so fun. We're also seeing some pretty pretty impressive snow totals reported here. West Virginia, Reedy, West Virginia now. Right here, we can see this dot. Six inches of snow reported. So, yeah, it's getting pretty heavy up there. And we're also starting to see icy conditions that are coming into the Washington, D.C. area, just to the south of you, getting some reports of that now. So we could get pretty tricky here as we head through the next few hours, I guess 12 to 24. Oh, another place where it's getting tricky, uh, Leesburg, Virginia. Mike Seidel's out there. Mike, I see some kids that are out there playing, enjoying the fun part of the snow. Yeah, I'm going to grab a microphone from our student audio guy and, uh, <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing out here? You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah, is this uh, the first snow of the season, right? Yeah. Yeah, you having fun? Where are, your, where are your friends going? Come on over here. Come on. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Alex, you're a cute girl. What, are you just having so much fun out here? Yeah. Come on over here. What's your name? Angel. Look over towards the camera. Angel? How old are you, Angel? Nine. Nine? And this is your little sister? Yeah. How old is she? Two. First time in the snow? Yeah, uh, she's she's a woman of few words, and, and this is the proud... Are you the proud mom? Yeah. All right, your kids are out here having a great time, huh? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it's fun, huh? Wow, this is great. I mean, it, it's too bad this is going to change over. This is a very dry, powdery snow. Look at the roadway, snow-packed, snow-covered. And you can see here how easy the snow comes off the car. But again, as we start to get that sleet and then the freezing rain, we are going to have a lot of issues, not only on the roadways and the elevated surfaces, because we already have this coming down and being packed by traffic, but then we get the ice on top of that, and the ice gets on these limbs, and then the limbs snap from stress and take out power. So, the forecast, again, we have the change in precip types from snow to sleet to freezing rain. The freezing rain, certainly by sundown, even out here west of Washington in the suburbs, that'll continue at least into the early hours of Monday morning. We could have as much as a half an inch of ice, and that's going to knock out power. That's almost a given to at least somebody out there. We don't have the wind, which will make it uh, even worse. Let's uh, check in back in Atlanta with Dr. Greg Postel, I believe. Dr. Thanks. Postel? Mike Seidel. You got it. <laughs> I was trying I, to get I, some I, help. I love the scene that you got out there. It's, it's beautiful. It must be coming down probably about an inch an hour, would you say? Yeah, an inch an hour. Visibility now is about a little under a half a mile. So this is officially moderate snow. I know people say, oh, it's heavy. But, you know, three-eighths to five-eighths. Uh, this is certainly moderate snow, as I can see down at the uh, end of each... Uh, each of uh, the ends of this road. So there you go, a good clip here. And as we've seen, this is coming across Northern Maryland. By the way, I-95, a mess between Baltimore and Philadelphia, and now 95 shut down between exit two and three in the Chester area, south of Philadelphia. All lanes closed because of an accident. So if you don't have to drive on 95 today, for now, uh, best bet is to stay off. And things will get much, much better tomorrow once we get past eight or nine o'clock in the morning as temperatures rise. All right, that's great. Yeah, thanks. That's very cool, Mike. Let's go right now to that area that you're talking about uh, along I-95, not far from Philly. Let's have a look at this I-95 picture. Oh my goodness. That is very heavy snow. Visibility probably a sixteenth of a mile or less. I'm sure it's accumulating uh, over, well over an inch an hour. I would not be surprised. Over two inches per hour. Uh, and this band of snow has not really moved much in the last hour or so. And I just looked at the observation out of Philly International. They got a quarter mile S plus uh, with accumulation rates very high. So looking right now across that scene, this is amazing. Very heavy snow all across here. And I-95 extending south out of Philly into Washington has got to be a nightmare as we saw uh, and you want to log into uh, weather.com because we're doing live blogging and giving you all the traffic updates as they come in so that's an excellent source to go to but keep an eye to this snow band it's not moving much and producing a ton of snow very quickly there's the boundary between the snow and the freezing rain and sleet just to the south right in there Richmond 34 degrees and light rain Roanoke has been freezing rain all day that's that area shaded in pink and in purple. That is where significant ice accumulation is going to be all day today across Virginia. 
soon, later on this afternoon, that freezing rain line is going to be moving off to the north, and that will eventually shut down the snow across parts of Maryland and southern Pennsylvania. But I think they're going to see places there get over eight inches of snow. I've seen seven-inch totals out here in West Virginia already. So keep in mind, that's the kind of snow that's coming inside of that band just between Philly and D.C. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Dr. Postelli. Remember Dr. Postelli yesterday we were...